Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find the solutions of these equations, we're going to use a substitution method. And in substitution method, we need to isolate one variable. So using this equation, and if we want to isolate this y, since y is negative, so we need to transpose this to this side to make this positive. And this positive one transpose to this side. So this equation becomes 2x. Then this positive one becomes negative one. Then equals positive y. Since y is equal to 2x minus 1. So substitute this equation to this y. So this becomes 2x minus 1, then quantity, to the power 2, then minus x squared equals 16. Then simplify, so this one is the square of a binomial, so we're going to use this SMS method. So this is the square of the first term, so the square of 2x, this one is 4x squared. Then multiply, so 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2, times 2x, that's negative 4x. Then the square of the first term, so the square of 1, that's 1. Then copy x squared, then transpose this 16, becomes negative 16, then equals 0. Then combine like terms, so this positive 4x squared minus x squared, so 4 minus 1, that's 3, x squared, then this negative 4x, and positive 1 minus 16, that's negative 15, then equals 0. Then since this one is a quadratic equation, so we can solve these solutions using quadratic factoring. So first, we need to write this 3x to both sides of the factors. Then multiply this negative 15 to 3. So 3 times negative 15. This one is negative 45. Then we need to write all the factors of this negative 45. So since this one is negative, so one of the factors is positive and one is negative. Since the middle term is negative, so therefore the bigger number of the factors must be negative. So these are now the factors of negative 45. So we have negative 45 times 1. Or you can have negative 15 times 3 and negative 9 times 5. Then add all the factors. So this one negative 45 plus 1, that's negative 44. Negative 15 plus 3, that's a negative 12. And negative 9 plus 5, that's negative 4. Since the middle term is negative 4 and this one is negative 4, so therefore, these are the factors of negative 45. So this one is negative 9 and positive 5. Then we need to reduce some of the factors. So since 3 and 9 divisible by 3, so this becomes x minus 3. And the other one, 3x plus 5 equals 0. So these are the factors of this quadratic equation. Then to solve for x, so equate these two factors to 0. So we have x minus 3 equals 0 and the other one 3x plus 5 equals 0 then solve for x so x equals transpose that's positive 3 and the other one so 3x equals transpose that's negative 5 then divide by 3 so therefore x equals negative 5 over 3 so these are the values of x. Then to solve for y, so solve for y using this equation that y equals 
2x minus 1. So using y equals 2x minus 1. So at x equals positive 3. So x equals positive 3. So we have now y equals 2 times x. So x is positive 3 then minus 1. So therefore y is equal to 2 times 3. That's 6 minus 1. So y is equal to positive 5. And the other one, so at x equals this negative 5 over 3. So x is negative 5 over 3. So from this equation, so we have y equals 2 times negative 5 over 3, then minus 1. Then simplify, so 2 times negative 5. That's negative 10 over 3, then minus 1. Then using cross multiplication to simplify this equation, so this one is over 1. So negative 10 times 1, that's negative 10. And 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3. Then over this 3 times 1, that's 3. So y now is equal to negative 10, negative 3, that's negative 13, then over 3. So, therefore, the solutions now of these equations, so if x equals positive 3, y equals positive 5. And if x equals negative 5 over 3, y equals negative 13 over 3. So, these are the solutions of these nonlinear equations.